Okay, this is a cool one. Imagine being able to charge your electric car while you're driving. What? Mm -hmm. Say what? <laughs> well, that may soon be a reality for some drivers in Detroit. The city is Electrons building... Smart. Quickly and the city is building an electric car charging road. That guy's voice really got me there for a second. The technology <laughs> was created by an Israeli startup that recently won a contract with the state of Michigan to build it. It will be the first of its kind infrastructure project in the United States. Now, for more on this, let's bring in CBS News Money Watch reporter Christopher Brooks. Hello, Christopher. <laughs> Good to see you. Um, if you could explain to us exactly how an electric car charging road works, because I understand putting something into a wall, charging your car. But how does it work when you're talking about the road? It's a little complicated, Jerika, but I'm just going to explain it in like basic terms. So you have special coils that are embedded into your pavement, like on a regular road. And those coils send sort of magnetic waves upward to a charging pad that's gonna be placed under your vehicle. So as you're driving along, you're getting one second, two second charge that's going to the pad and the pad is then you know charging the battery. So this works on any size of a car, whether you have a tiny Prius or you have like a pickup truck all the way up to like a public bus. So it works for cars that are electric, but if you have a normal gas powered car, it just doesn't affect it at all. Mm. So if you're driving or if you're like stopped at a stop sign or stoplight, it'll charge your car. I'm sorry, but I think that's one of the coolest things I've heard all day. And Christopher, thank you so much for breaking that down for us, because now I understand it. That was a great explanation. Um, of course, this will be the first of its kind here in America, but we're seeing this type of technology in other places in the world. Is this just another testament on how far behind our nation's infrastructure has become? Well, maybe part of it, Tanya, but the, the thing is, in other nations, this is being like tested. It isn't fully implemented in other nations. And what's happening in Michigan is just like what's happening in other parts of the globe where they're just testing a few parts of land. And I, in that sense, I would say maybe, you know, the U.S. is in step with some of these other countries and just trying to figure out whether this is viable, whether this is cost effective, whether this is something that, you know, electric car vehicle drivers really need. They're just trying to figure out what's the best way to sort of implement this, mm -hmm. um, if they can implement it on a large scale. And speaking of cost efficiency, what is the cost of building a road like this? And I imagine we're also talking maybe jobs. It would create some jobs, potentially. The the cost is, is, is huge. And uh, I'll tell you one thing, the project is happening in Michigan. Uh, while they didn't give me the exact price for it, the Michigan Department of Transportation is kicking in some of the money for it. And this is just a one mile road, keep that in mind. And they're kicking in 1.9 million just for that wow. one road. So you extrapolate that to try to do an entire city or maybe an entire neighborhood. It can get into the billions really, really quickly. So, you know, cities and states have to weigh that. The right. technology may be cool, but the, but the upfront cost may be may be tremendous. But isn't that the way it always is with a new technology? It's always really, really expensive at first, and then they figure out a way to replicate it, uh, you know, at a, a lower cost. Is, does not usually happen? And this is all part of the desire to move to a more energy-friendly, you know, uh, transportation system, right? So this can help electric vehicle owners you know, get inspired to buy more electric cars, right? Because they it's can better save for the environment. Yeah, better for yeah. the environment. They could save money on charging costs. So it's one of those things that builds on itself, right? You would hope so. I mean, part of it is like really depends on person by person or city by city case. So if you're one of these people that have one of these cars and you're driving it all the time, then absolutely it's going to be a cost savings for you but you know we've seen so far in this pandemic gas powered cars electric cars all alike people aren't driving as much as they were you know prior to 2020 2019 so if you're still staying at home doing your job and you're still you know pretty much sedimentary it's, it's not going to make too much of a cost difference for you once everybody starts getting in on back on the road in mass mm -hmm. then you'll start to hopefully see those i tell you what they need to bring that to the the new york city subways Bring down the cost. Yeah, that's right. Not that it's super expensive, but, but it, it does keeps keep climbing. going up. That's right. <laughs> Christopher Brooks, thank you for that electric demonstration and tell of what this is all about. Electrifying. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you.